Hello, and welcome to the JWST Exposure Time Calculator. In this video, we will explore the different background options in the ETC. The background can have significant effects on an observation, especially in the mid-infrared, so it is important to estimate the background as accurately as possible. We begin in a workbook with a MIRI imaging observation using the long wavelength F2550W filter and 10 groups per integration. Move to the Backgrounds tab in the Calculation Editor pane to see the options for customizing the background. One option is to input a position in celestial coordinates for the background. The position must be given in the format shown or else an error message will appear and the calculation will be prevented from running. The error message provides guidance on the proper format. The second option is to choose either a date or a level for the background configuration. If you know the position and approximate date that your target is to be observed, select the date option and input the date. If you do not plan to place strict constraints on your observation and therefore are unsure of the date on which your observations will occur, choose a background level. There are four options available, none, low, medium, and high. Choosing none will prevent you from typing a background position. The low, medium, and high levels correspond to the 10th, 50th, and 90th percentiles, respectively, for the background at the specified position over the period of visibility. When in doubt, the best option is to choose a high background to determine the lowest possible signal-to-noise ratio for your observation. Let's now choose a low background and set a right ascension of 10 hours, 50 minutes, 12.5 seconds, and a declination of plus 30 degrees, 7 arc minutes, 16.1 arc seconds. Click Calculate. In the Reports tab, there are a handful of quantities describing the background, including the input background surface brightness. For this instrument setup with a low background, this value is over 1,000 megajanskis per steradian in the central wavelength of the filter. If we move to the Detector Setup tab and increase the number of groups from 10 to 100, we see an orange exclamation point appear in the status column for this calculation. Clicking on the Warnings tab in the Reports pane, we see that the background is saturating in this filter. The warning text provides the recommendation that the number of groups be decreased for this observation. Keep in mind that this occurred for a low background using the F2550W filter, meaning that integration ramps should be kept as short as possible at the longest mid-infrared wavelengths to avoid saturation. This concludes the video on backgrounds in the ETC. If you would like additional information on how to use the JWST ETC, see the links in the description for this video. Thank you.